This is Get Real with Bob and Stacy, the show that helps you learn about the mortgage and real estate markets. Get the inside scoop from their expert list of guests and have some fun along the way. Now, here's Bob Callagher and Stacy Alcorn. Welcome back. You're listening to Get Real with Bob and Stacy. You're joining us for our Leaders and Legends segment. Our first guests today are Ro and Don Polzinski, authors of Changing Your Equation. Welcome to the show, Ro and Don. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. So I want to give everybody some background on this dynamic duo. They have built a successful relationship founded on leadership principles. Together, they have amassed two master's degrees in business administration and management and have more than 35 years of management and leadership experience. Along the way, they've learned from countless leadership books and have worked with many excellent mentors, coaches, and consultants. They now have many of the insights that they wish others had taught them along the way. Using those insights, they successfully started a business and wrote their first book. The goal of the endeavor is to use their knowledge as leadership experts to show people how they can lead themselves to their own ideal futures. So first, tell us all about the new book. Oh, that's a labor of love. We started it a few years ago when we realized that either we had to change ourselves or change our visions of what we wanted out of life. And that's where we really came to the realization that for us to move forward in our life, we needed to help others. And the best way we could do that was really share what we've learned about leadership in reaching our ideal future. To get to our ideal future, we had to help others get to their ideal future. Hmm, interesting. So the book is called Changing Your Equation, and you say that there is a life equation. What is the life equation? There is. What we found through our research and through our own experiences, we broke it down to three elements, three factors, if you will. There are the life elements, which is pretty much basic for what everyone has, your relationships, your values and ethics, your career, your finances, and your education. We all have them at some degree of, or another. Then we move into an, the next factor, which we call the realities. And this one was pretty near and dear to my heart as a, I did some adjunct professor work at some college. And I could see that the students weren't grounded in reality. They weren't really understanding their place in the world, their, how to interact with others. And that really showed us that that's an important part of the uh, equation. And then the final element I'm going to turn over to Don are the change agents. And these range from everything from uh, managing your finances to having an entrepreneurial spirit uh, to having uh, faith, what, uh, knowing what you believe in, as well as what do you want your legacy to be. Those are all important change agents. Hmm. So if you, hmm. if you manage the factors in your equation, the end result will be different. Okay, that's interesting. Do you ever find that, like, the hardest thing in the world is to get people to actually change anything? So what is one suggestion you have for getting people to actually do something so that t tomorrow ends up looking better than today? Well, I, I think that's a great question, <laughs> and, and there is this really resistance to change. Mm -hmm. And let's, let's to start out with, let's, let's realize something, that whatever path we are on, whatever direction we're moving in, if we don't change, well, then we're going to have more of the same. Right. So whatever our life has been, if we're on a certain path, the only way we change what we're going to get out of life is to get on a different path, and that's going to require change. And I know it really comes back to uh, having people take ownership and accountability. If th that's really the first step, if they're not willing to take ownership of their life and be accountable for what their life holds, well, then they're never going to change. So I think the, the, we're stressed throughout the book, to be a great personal leader, you must take ownership of your life and you must be willing to hold yourself accountable. Otherwise, change really isn't going to happen. Okay. And you also talk about that it's important for employers to be proactive in helping their employees reach their personal goals. Yes, and that really stems from my business, RD Advisory Group, which I own and operate. And I work with a number of businesses, and I coach executives, managers, even supervisors on leadership. And they'll all look at me in the first few meetings like, why are you asking about my personal life? 
why are you asking about my personal goals? Mm -hmm. Because we know that only 30% of America employees are engaged, and that's a recent Gallup poll. And from that, we also know that the research is showing that by helping employees with personal goals and career fulfillment, you increase levels of engagement. So we're saying, you know what, we're a good solution for that. If you're an employer that doesn't want to get involved with that, let us come in and we can help. And by showing the employees how they can achieve their goals, their dreams, their aspirations, and sometimes they're hard conversations. It may be, well, you don't, and I've had these, you don't have the education to get where you want to go. You're telling me you can't take exams. What else do you want to do? Let's refocus you. Hmm. And they're, they're just, they're happier people. They're happier to go to work. So there's a strong connection. I would agree. There's a, a really a crisis in America of, of having disengaged workforce. When we say that only 30% of, of the workforce is engaged, there is a huge opportunity for employers to make a real difference. And I, we think that real difference is really helping their team rec, uh, recognize and realize their hopes, dreams, and aspirations. Hmm. So it seems like there's a challenge in getting some employers to actually buy into the process. But what you're seeing is, number one, they can learn how to do it themselves get their employees engaged and find out what their goals are and help move them towards that. But even if they are not set up to do that, say they have hundreds of employees and they say, you know what, it's just not realistic for us to find out what everybody's personal goals are and move them towards it. What you're seeing is that you have a company that helps to do that. You would go in and help the company do that. Yep, absolutely. And it's really it's personally fulfilling for me to see when I see people I've worked with all of a sudden earn the promotions that they've always wanted by just tweaking this or that or refocusing them in a different way or helping them understand how other people act and how other people relate. And it's just, for, especially for the senior executives, I, you know, I work very closely actually with a vice president of human resources and a CFO at a company. They both coach with me. It gives them someone to talk to hmm. and how, how they, the challenges they face. You know, the higher up you go, it may look all glamorous, but the stress level really goes up. Right. And it, it's just an incredible honor to be able to work with these people, but to also see these results. And that's what we use as proof. Like, no, we have proven results that this actually works. And I would add that it's, it's important from the very top of the org chart, the CEO or president, all the way down to the very bottom of the org chart. Uh, this is universal. Mentoring, coaching, whatever you want to call it. We have, Don and I have personal coaches. We use uh, professional coaches to help us move forward. Hmm. You're never too far in your career to get that kind of help. Yes. So many years ago, I read a book called The Dream Manager. I think it was by Matt Kelly. <laughs> yes, oh. we love that book. Yes. It's a great book. Because I think that's more of a parable where your book actually gives people the steps in order to create a dream manager within your company, correct? Exactly. And on our website, changingyourequation.com, mm -hmm. it, there is a free download for we, what we call a dream day guide. It's something that Don and I started many, many, many years ago in our dating years and mm -hmm. early marriage years. And what, what shocks us is people don't know how to dream. Mm -hmm. they've, they've lost that childhood ability to imagine what their future could hold. So we put together this actual step-by-step -step dream day guide. And we're developing a workshop to get people on these right paths again. And when somebody doesn't have dreams, then they don't have a destination. And going through life without a destination is just not a good situation to be in. Hmm. Well, you make a great point on all of this because I feel like we live in a world that, I mean, when I was growing up, my grandparents, like, there was a true division. Like, you would go to work, and then you actually came home, and you had family time. And mm -hmm. I feel like we live in a world that it all kind of, like, meshes together. And some of it is, like, because of the technology. So you really never shut off. Um, but by having 
systems in place, like this life's equation sounds like it's something that applies to business. It applies to your personal Mm -hmm. life that you can create your business goals and dreams and your life goals and dreams and your family and relationship life's goals and dreams as well. Oh, I agree totally. Um, We certainly take the stance that you cannot separate work from personal. Mm -hmm. And, you know, years ago, potentially, you know, I know a lot of management felt there were two different aspects and you should keep them separate. Uh, Our belief is they cannot be. You have to integrate them. And the better that you integrate them, the better uh, outcome you have for for each individual team member as well as the organization as a whole. And I'd like to even add to that. I'm seeing it more. We're seeing it more and more with the younger generations. You know, there's a lot of talk of millennials. Families are more splintered. They're smaller. They're finding their social network now in the workplace where they're going out together after work and 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 actually don and i are testament we met at work Hmm. we met we Mm -hmm. worked together and worked very closely together for about six months before we started dating and then went through the whole life cycle of ultimately marrying while we were working together and so that's why there's such it's such a gray area now. You can't flip a light switch, and that's what I teach in my coachings and even in my management and team building trainings. You cannot flip a light switch at eight o'clock in the morning to turn off your personal life. Just so that you can't flip that switch back at five p.m. when you go home. Right. Okay. So people that are listening to this today, say somebody's listening and they say, "I want to change my equation." And by the way, the website where you can download uh, that free dream item that she spoke about is changingyourequation.com. But say somebody's listening and they say, I actually do want to change my life equation. I have big dreams I want to accomplish. What are some practical first steps that somebody could take to keep moving forward? Well, the great news, it's not as difficult as anybody would ever think. Mm -hmm. There are some very simple things, and it does kick right off with that Dream Day Guide. You have to have some dreams. You have to set a destination for yourself. And the simplest thing to do is when you're doing this dream exercise is to write them down. You know, studies have shown that uh, just the simple aspect of writing down your hopes, dreams, aspirations make them much more likely to come true. And from there, you know, it could just be, I've had people say to me from the simplest things like, oh, I'm tired of eating ice cream every single night when I go home. I just had that actually this week. Who says that? said (laughs) said that. And I said, okay, then why don't you go, why don't you tell your husband we're going to go once a weekend and make it a destination. Let's take a drive and go to different ice cream places. Hmm. So that it gets you out of the routine of having it every single night, but yet it's something very positive to look forward to as a shared experience. Mm-hmm. It, you know, people often think it takes so much to do a change. What we preach and what we really advocate is what are those little changes you can make that lead to the bigger ones. And the book is a step-by-step guide. We share personal stories. And there's actually at the end of every chapter in the first section – there are exercises to help people get started, to get them in that mindset. So share with us one of, like, either a personal story of yours or a client that you helped that just had massive changes in business or life because of the steps they took because of changing your equation. We're going to use ourselves. We now, if you had asked us four or five years ago, Mm -hmm. would we have a book, a website? Would we be doing media and we this whole workshop, which is going to be amazing, we would have said, are you kidding? Mm-hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. So we like to hold ourselves as the own example. Like, okay, we are two people from central New York. We're not that special. Mm-hmm. We can do it. Anybody can do it. And that's one of our favorite things to point to is it's a process. We're trying to help as many people as possible, but use us as the example that you can take a whole new path and go to a great destination. All right. My last question is because you guys seem very close and have built like an amazing life and business together. And when it comes to changing, how do you not occasionally drive each other crazy? And when (laughs) that occasionally happens, what do you do? Boy, that is, it's a really rare (laughs) occasion. Um, 
well, there's a secret. Yeah. We d- we have done personality profiles. Mm-hmm. I am obviously the extrovert. Yeah. He Don is actually an introvert and very strongly profiled as an introvert. Wow. So we have used those personality assessments to literally say I have said to him, I'm my extrovert side's coming out. I really need to do this. Mm-hmm. And I also respect when I can see he's overwhelmed and he just needs that quiet time to process everything that's moving fast. Right. And we discuss that in the book about understanding uh, ourselves mm-hmm. and understanding those uh, closest to you. And by understanding ourselves, we can lead ourselves better, and you build much better relationships. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's it's key that you understand your own dynamic personality as well as your spouse or significant mm-hmm. other. Wow, great stuff. Again, mm-hmm. this <laughs> is Ro and Don Polzinski, and their book is Changing Your Equation, for our listeners, let people know where they can find you as far as website, social media, etc. If you, we are on Facebook, Twitter, we have some YouTube videos. Just look up Ro and Don. It's R O E, and then we use A N D D O N, and um, go to Changing Your Equation. There's links to all the social media, and of course, we're on Amazon. And just last week, the audio version of the book came out. So if you're not into reading, download the audio and you can listen to it. We have a fabulous narrator. Wow. Rowan and Don Polzinski, changingyourequation.com. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, so you much for, for having, having us. us. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be back with more Get Real after this.